Hello everyone and welcome back to some more half big Gaming. Here we are today inside of Valheim once more. Getting ready to start back off in the Mistlands since last week we made a nice little farm place for ourselves. And it's great and all, but until we get more black cores, it really doesn't help me all that much. So... This needs a bit of time to pass in it anyways. And we need to go find more infested mines. Let's see this hat we're looking at here. So we are going to prepare as much as physically possible. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. And then we are going to go... Now, let's see, I should mark... Oh, zoom in this one. Ah. Mark this one that's clear. Yes. And then this is all we've already explored up here. Now this is all miscellaneous down behind here. From pretty much where we are slipping through to this big section here. There's got to be at least one or two more infested mines in there to go find. We might need a few. They say there could be anywhere from zero to two to five black cores inside of an infested mine. Oh, that was resin. And, uh, I guess we got kind of lucky even being able to find three. Fuck, oh, we need a total of 15, so yeah. I believe we need to go find some more. So, we are going to go on a journey today and see if we can track down another infested mine to go spend a month in. <laughs> ah, dear, we flip in there. All right. Looks like I'm kind of well on my way here, ish. Let me get more things set up. Sound wired to my head, and we'll be ready to go. All right, so this time I'm gonna take our time. Walk around the edge between the mistlands and the mountains. Sort of give us, sort of give us a bit of a buffer area. Mark out our borderline for us in a way. And it's only going to work out so well, and then it's going to get to that bigger section, but the outskirts will help to uncover a big chunk. Definitely want to wait around for collecting, but that's not what we're doing today. We can do that any old time. What we need is those black cores. They can't even do anything without those. We only got some game music kicking in. I could hear something, but I don't know if it's an enemy or just ambient noises the root here oh that's a bunny maybe that's what i heard oh there's dirt is over here cool let's go say hi hey guys how's it going guarding the gate cool cool cool, cool. okay oh what oh she's blocked Ooh, archers I got air support. Yeah, get them, boys. Oh. Oh, my. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We're starting to get a bigger area on the map now. More mislands available. Oh, it must be nighttime. These are starting to glow. Okay. <laughs> this is where it's going to get scary. Oh, structure. Possibly. What do we got here? Oh, okay. I feel less worried. Right. So. Nice attack. He's stunned. Not so. What is this? Ancient armor. Hmm. Well, it's some kind of loot at least. Mark that. Oh shit. shit, shit. <laughs> Super lucky. Chuck. Door. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Why wouldn't you help me out, bunny? Jeez. 
That would have helped you. No, that's a lie. Wait. What is this? It's just a hole in the ground. With some structure around it. Kind of neat. Ooh. Crates. What's... Oh, tissue. Ooh. Oh, that's... That's marble. That's the black marble. Okay, I'm not too worried about that. Maybe that's what they were doing here. It's mining out the marble. Yeah. Maybe that's exactly what they were doing here. Well, as neat as that seems, it's not a mine. So, we need to move it on. Excuse me. And try and avoid climbing as much rocks as possible. Try to stay on the ground level. But it's easier said than done than this lands. Especially if there's a yaw after me. I can't see the bottom. Yeah, I've seen something over here, maybe. Okay, this is the one I was expecting. Or what I was talking about. That's fine. Ow! I'm an idiot. Damn terrain. That's what I see. What's that structure? <laughs> I don't think it's gonna lead me anything over there. Hmm. No, dead end. Maybe it means there's something close by here though, because we had one of those nearby, the other one too. You came from somewhere. Ow. Ouch. Oh, there was dwarves. Hi guys. Uh, why isn't this Tears of the Kingdom I can just climb up the damn side or ascend or something, you know? Oh, hello. I need those cords, at least two more, so we can make the first part. And then, I don't know what comes out. I think we made it through a night. Why do nights in the Mistlands not seem as bad as literally anywhere else? How have I not died during a night here yet? I could literally die during the night in the forest, human. But not here? Jeez, dwarf. You guys must have been a little bit more loyal to Odin. Do a little bit of a voiceover here. Oh, 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 get him, dwarf. Get him, dwarf. Get him, get him, get him. Yeah, thank you. I think there's more. It's usually more. There were just one tick. Why is there never one tick? Hmm? 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 Dwarf bodyguard. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It wasn't over, apparently. I bring tidings. It's like, oh yeah? Yes. Billy Bird, where'd you go? That's uh, Hugin. Down with the bones? Yeah, break their bones, smash their skulls, pick their bones. Pick their bones and break their domes, that's it. Hmm. Rogue seems alerted, but it seems quiet now. Moving on. This, no, no, it's not quiet here. Another one of those mine areas. I'm gonna hit some low on food, it looks like. My health bar is not as big as it should be. Yeah, five minute countdown on the sausages and bread. It's not ideal. Just keep blocking, just keep blocking. Wait for your opening. There you go. Ooh. <laughs> Wasn't talking to them, yeah, pop a potion. Oh, oh, you're getting cornered here. Yeah, get up. Get up and get out the sledgehammer. Yeah. <laughs> That's more like that. Do some crowd control, thin out their numbers a little bit, get them spread off and running away. You can separate them out a bit that way. He tried to get up. Oh, jerk. Maybe get one or two killed, get some running away. Send a couple flying off. They got a hit in, they got a hit in, but a couple of them are dead there. No stamp, no. <laughs> uh. One left? Nice. Nice. 
That was close. Do I realize that I need more food yet? No? Oh, that's not great. Pick up all the goodies though. Yeah, make sure of that. Um, there, yep, another hole. Another hole of, ooh, more crates. It's always good loot. Yeah, soft tissue. So where am I going now? Oh, collect them plants, I guess. Okay. Oh, a couple minutes, and I do remember that this is about where we set up camp. We have a lot of area uncovered so far, because we went from about where our campsite is with that campsite all along to where our new dots are there, down to where we currently are now. So I imagine I'm thanking you all for sticking around and hoping that you have enjoyed so far. Here we are, the realization of what I need for a campfire. And a little bit of wood. <laughs> A little bit of wood and some shelter. So here's our wood. Oh, yeah, and that's especially why I didn't need the shelter when I said that, but I do now. Oh, well, that rain came on really quick. I'm full of fine wood, that's right. Ditch that. Don't put the campfire under the rain. <laughs> no, I need the chop hole here. Because it's not going to be nice and sheltered there yet. I think it's sheltered without even chopping a hole. But this is where we'll set up our campfire and prepare for next week's episode, everybody, where we will keep questing through the mice lands to try and find our best in mind. Roasty, toasty, nice and dry. Oh boy, give me that rusted buff.